In this video, we will show you how to use the SNMP scripting with the FL Network Manager and which opportunities it provides. The SNMP scripting works with every SNMP capable device, independent of manufacturers. To demonstrate the functions presented in this tutorial, a structure made of six 2000 managed switches connected in line is used. The switches have been integrated into the project of the software before. To be able to use SNMP scripting, please select the Scripts tab in the Components section first, and then create a new script module via right-click. To open the created script, please double-click it. It will then appear in the main window so that you can fill it out. The following commands are available. The Get command enables you to read information from a device. Using the Set command, you can configure parameters on a device. Some configurations need more time, which requires a break before the next set command. Here, the delay command is used. The write console command makes it possible to insert text lines to the result display of the script in order to get a structured information output. As a loop, there is a while do loop available. To execute a command on the basis of a condition, the if-then-else branch can be used. To make the programming of scripts more comfortable, you can create a variable area in which you can declare variables. These are then available throughout the entire script. In order to explain the basic command structure, we are now, as an example, executing a set command that changes the device name of a device. To do so, we break down the set command to its individual parts. The order introduces the corresponding command, in this case, the setting of an SNMP object. To simplify the command entry, the parameters that have to be entered next are shown via a tooltip for every command. The OID is a sequence of numbers, separated by dots, that indicates, similar to a folder structure, the place where the parameter to be configured is located. The necessary OIDs can be found in the corresponding MIB file of the respective device. As a last step, the value that has to be transmitted, the new device name, is stated. In our example, this is a string and it's therefore written with inverted commas. In order to facilitate the scripting even more, you can also access command templates directly. To do so, you can simply right-click the script and insert the desired template via Insert Template. Further help can be found in the Error List window. Syntax errors are shown here directly while programming the script. Additional compiling is not required. A finished script can now be used on several devices. To do so, you have to mark all the devices you want to configure via a corresponding script. Via a following right-click, you can open the context menu and then select the desired script via the Run Script menu item. In this case, we select the Get Port Info example script for port diagnostics. This script is automatically included in version 3 of the FL Network Manager in order to make the initial work with the SNP scripting easier for you. After applying the script, the logging window will indicate if the script is executed without errors on every device. The output console shows the individual results of the script execution. An Own Result tab is open for every device. For better orientation, they are marked with the IP address. 